this is an ATI tiny microcontroller. Her name is ATI tiny 13. So here you can see the onboard LED connected to pin 5 and the buzzer to pin 6 and uh, the LDR to pin 3. See the, the, this is the pull up resistance 6.88 kilo ohm and this is the reset functionality with another 6.8 kilo ohm. When I uh, press this button this will pull the reset pin to low initiating the reset functionality and uh, this 10 pin header is for the uh, USB ASP programmer. You should uh, connect MISO to MISO, MOSI to MOSI, SCK and RST from the microcontroller to the pinout uh, following the pinout of the USB ASP. You should find more pictures on the internet uh, regarding USB ASP uh, pinouts and uh, you should connect pin by pin. And I will not hear any waste any, uh, any more time on uh, showing the soldering process and all. I will. I have made a board already, and now I. Now you know very well when you are first using any new IC, the datasheet is the best best friend of yours. So open up the edit and thirteen datasheet here. Uh, it clearly says it has one kilobytes of flash, sixty four bytes of EEPROM, and sixty four bytes of PCI RAM. So you know that uh, if you are uh, like the at mega thirty two or at mega zero twenty eight of the Arduino, they have thirty two thirty two kilobytes of flash, but this has only one kilobytes. So clearly you can uh, do very much less operations with it. Mm, for, for just 8 pin, 8 pin deep IC you can do many things uh, if you can carefully use this 1 kilobyte of flash. So let's move on further. See the, this is an 8 pin deep IC. Here you have only PB, the port, uh, port B. So here you have the um, uh, standard uh, SPI, SCK, MISO, MOSI and uh, now we have also the OC0A, OC0B for the PWM channels here we have three, two PWM channels this has this IC has only one timer but uh, this has two PWM channels OC0A and OC0B uh, for PB0, OC0A, PB1, OC0B and uh, this IC also has four channels of 10 bit ADC the ADC0, ADC3, 2 and the ADC1 and now since PB5 is the reset line, so I will be not using uh, for any GPIO based application. I have uh, used only the reset functionality here with a push button and a pull up resistance. Uh, this will uh, this will reset uh, only if the, the pin 1 is pulled to pull to ground, then it will reset uh, reset the microcontroller. Uh, if, you, if you like to use this, uh, this GPIO, then you, uh, you can also leave out this reset functionality here. So uh, now in my board I have attached an onboard LED to PB0 means the pin 5 and a buzzer to PB1. So you can see very well the, the LED is connected to a PWM channel so you can uh, define the PWM, uh, PWM code so that you can increase or decrease the brightness and also uh, a buzzer is connected to PB1. Also I have used an LDR. LDR or light dependent register with a pull up resistance to ADC2. Since uh, PB4 is the ADC, has the ADC channel, so I have used an LDR on board. And uh, moving on to further datasheet, you can uh, you have more information. I will definitely recommend you to read the full datasheet uh, part by part. Here you can choose your part which you may like to read. I have spent a lot of time reading this uh, this full datasheet and uh, then I have uh, opened up Pacman Studio to write the code, the C code and remember I will not use any uh, any Arduino any Arduino language or burn any Arduino uh, kind of bootloader into this uh, small IC it will waste, uh, waste a huge lot of space this is only one kilobyte and if you uh, burn a Arduino based bootloader into this then it will waste up a huge lot of memory now I'll be uh, opening up Atmel Studio. Remember, no Arduino, no Arduino here. Here we'll be only using C code on Atmel Studio. So let's jump onto PC. So I have uh, already written, written this sketch. 
and uh, I will not waste any time in showing you in this in the soldering process or any component layout process. You can very very well do it yourself. I am directly jumping in, into the code. So here you can see the AVR IO utility layer, AVR interrupt, the basic header files, and now comes the voice set pin. The set pin is similar to the pin mode function of the uh, pin mode function of the Arduino. Here the pin and the state. So if state is low, then uh, then it is uh, set as the input and if state is 1 this then it is used as the output you have to use the DDRB register here as usual and uh, void digital light is similar to the Arduino digital light in pin in state so if state is 1 then the corresponding pin is high and if state is low then the pin uh, the corresponding pin is um, is logic 0 and obviously you have to use the port B port B register here and now comes the setup ADC the setup ADC will enable you to use the ADC. So at the very beginning, you have to set the ADC in ADC SRA. You have to use the ADC SRA to set up the set up the P scaler and the uh, in interrupt enable and the ADC enable. All this uh, all these bits to be to be enabled using the ADC SRA. And then the X is the channel name. Here you have four channels: 0, 1, 2, 3. So if 0 is channel 0 is selected, if 1 channel 1 is selected and uh, by default I have also uh, declared as uh, for selecting channel 0 and now you have to set the ADSC before starting the conversion uh, of the ADC SI register and uh, for enabling interrupts you have to use the ACI since I have used, uh, since I have used ACI to enable, in, uh, uh, enable the interrupts then I have used the ADC vector uh, ISR interrupt service routine so if calculate ADC is greater than less than 500 so it will turn on the buzzer high remember the buzzer is connected to pin 1 so I, uh, if value is less than 500 so the buzzer is turned on high and the calculate ADC function here I have defined it this calculate ADC function will just read out the values from the ADCH and the ADCL the result of the ADC which are stored in the ADCH and ADCL this has to be read and uh, then the value is to be returned and remember this is a 10 bit um, ADC so the values will be from 0 to 1 0 2 3 and uh, here you have also the uh, int 0 for um, the hardware interrupt hardware interrupt vector this has an interrupt, uh, interrupt hardware interrupt pin so you can use the ISR um, 0 vector interrupt as well I have left it empty since I will not using it now comes the word PWM the PWM will set uh, will uh, set values of inside the OCR 0A and the OCR 0B that there are two channels you know so the pin and then the num the num will be from 0 to 255 since the OCR 0A is of 8 bit so initially the TCCR 0B register is to be set for, is to be set up for setting up the P scalar you may set to 128 as well or uh, more by 16 as per your wish and then switch pin if p channel 0 if the OCR 0A is selected then OCR 0A the value is fed into the num the 0 to 255 value is to be uh, entered into the OCR 0A and also the set um, 0 1 uh, means the um, pb 0 is to be, uh, is to be uh, set as the output and similarly for case 1 pb 1 is set as the output and uh, OCR 0P is to be fed with the num value and uh, also the POM 0A1 is to be set for uh, for OCR 0A and uh, for OCR 0B POM 0B1 is to be set and we have used the fast PWM mode you can use the face correct uh, mode, mode as well and now finally comes the main the main function in the main function we have I have set up the ADC to channel 2 means ADC 2 since the ADC 2 I have the LDR connected with the pull up resistance and now the set pin, set pin is in, uh, is declaring the buzzer pin as the output. Now in the in the while one means in the infinite loop, so digital light one zero for normal for normal conditions the buzzer will be turn uh, turned on low. And now the PWM zero comma two fifty five minus calculate ADC by four. Since calculate ADC will uh, have value ending from zero to one zero two three, so to make it uh, zero to two fifty five, we have to divide it by four. And uh, you can also remove this 255 minus as well it will just complement uh, or reverse the activity uh, in my acti in my case if light falls on the LDR the, the brightness of the LED will increase 
and vice versa and by removing this 255 minus the action will just be reversed means that when uh, light is not present then the brightness of the LED will be high and when light is turned uh, light is um, uh, brought near the LDR then the uh, brightness of the LED will turn will turn low. So this is as per your choice you may, may as per depends on the application and then finally a small delay. So this is the whole code. You may uh, uh, I I will post uh, this code in in my GitHub account. Uh, you may uh, get that code in the description uh, description box below. So now I'll be attaching my USB SP uh, to this development board, and uh, now we'll be seeing this in action. Let's see. So I have attached the USB SP to my PC and I have uploaded the code and uh, the process of uploading the code uh, I have used the external tools here and uh, to set up this external tool I have uh, attached a video link down in the description below so that you can set up this external tool for this ATTiny 13 it will just use the AVR Duke so you can see the LED and now I am turning the torch of my smartphone see the brightness have increased I am slowly now move the phone phone's torch near the LDR you heard that the buzzer rings the value has increased to uh, less than 500 so the buzzer will, will ring now and the brightness of the LED will slowly will slowly get decreased as I have moved the phone's uh, torch away from the board see the brightness has increased you may see lots of flickers here and this is due to the frame rate of the, of the camera but this thing is actually, actually uh, working just fine as I have just have written in the code and this is also the reset button working also properly now here I, I would like to uh, give some uh, useful sites before ending this video so this in this site you can set up the fuse bits of any any AVR microcontroller just select the your your uh, your microcontroller and then click on go and then you can see all the fuse bits uh, fuse bits configuration here is the default also written here and by default it is uh, for it is it is tiny 13 it is set as the internal as the internal oscillator and uh, as the 0x 6a and uh, 0x ff and i will not touch this log bit here since it is of no use for me here and now you can use this uh, watchdog timer or brownout or the or you can change the startup time or the clock select as far you need but don't ever don't ever touch this spi enable if you if you disable this then you, you will you cannot program this ic anymore since the enabling or disabling a bit is also done by using spi so if you disable this spi you will be not be able to turn this uh, turn this high again so never touch this SPI enable but uh, for others you may wish to do whatever uh, suits, your, suits your purpose and now I will also show you how to use the EVR dude here so or download the EVR dude from, uh, from, from Google by searching on Google and uh, now after uh, downloading EVR dude open up the folder containing your EVR dude and then type here cmd to open up command prompt and then write EVR dude so this is loaded successfully so this if you are due dash c usb sp dash p t13 t13 13 this this is just for checking if your ic is connected to your board or not and uh, there are very much uh, very others uh, 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 such so AVR do commands to uh, to read or write or to change fuse bits. I will write down some of these uh, AVR do commands uh, in the, in down in the description box below.
but better is to use the external external tools here that's all for this video if you have found this video useful then please like share and subscribe to your friends and for any confusions please uh, comment down in the in, a, in the comment box and i will try to respond i will try to respond as fast as as i can and i will try to answer your all your queries thank you for watching this video